Welcome back to another video. And as promised, today we're gonna be ceramic coating these bad boys. So I'm gonna do the Reg Masters first because it's the easiest wheel. And I'm gonna go show you guys what ingredients, ingredients. I'm gonna show you guys what supplies I'm using to ceramic coat these wheels. Uh, bear in mind, this is my first time, so I'm gonna suck. I'm gonna suck ass really bad, but I think it's better than no ceramic coating. So let's get started. All right, so um, the ingredients are, dude, I keep saying ingredients. If I say ingredients, I apologize. I mean supplies. The supplies that I am gonna be using is to clean the wheels, isopropyl alcohol. Um, you wanna make sure your wheels are clean for a good base for the ceramic coating to uh, apply to, adhere to. Next up for the ceramic coating, I have Adams Polishes Graphene Ceramic Coating Advanced. Um, the reviews on this are pretty good. I don't really know what other good brands there are. I'm sure there are plenty of options, but this is the one that my brother recommended for me. So to apply the ceramic coatings, I have a bunch of types of cloths. One of them is like, uh, I'm pretty sure inside there is a sponge with, there's just a sponge. It's just a sponge wrapped in microfiber material. This is a little hand pocket thing, so I can slip my hands in there and just kind of wipe it with my fingers. I, um, that's pretty cool. I got rags for applying the ceramic coating. Blocks, so when you're applying ceramic coatings, you can use a block to kind of make sure that you have an even spread of the coating throughout the surface. And I got the wrong size block, obviously. This is for like body panels. I don't know why I got that, but I don't know if you can see, but on the inside, there is a smaller block right here. This is what I'm gonna be mainly using for the wheels. So that is basically all, oh, I almost forgot. And last but not least, this is a UV light stick, basically a black light. So this one is 395 nanometers. And once I'm done ceramic coating, I will shine this on the wheel and it should show me if I missed any areas. So yeah, super neat tool to have, super handy. So let's get started. You're gonna wanna make sure your wheel is uh, super clean. So that's gonna be the first step. Let's start cleaning these wheels. <clears throat> Oh, dang. Dude, this is sketch. This is really sketchy. From this angle, this is terrifying to look at. It looks like it's gonna fall over. All right, so let's start with a uh, shop rag. I'm sure there's way better options, but that's all I have at the moment. So we're gonna grab our shop rag, our ISO alcohol, and we're just gonna give this a good wipe down. You know, front and back, every crevice that we can get it into. It's kind of like paint work. Um, the prep work is always the most important. If you don't prep it properly, you're not gonna get a good coating. Okay, I'm just gonna time lapse this because you probably don't wanna see the whole process. All right, so now that we've got the wheels cleaned, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the stickers on before I ceramic coat them because I've heard that it, it lasts a little bit longer. My brother's gonna show me how to do it first because I've never done this. Oh, that smells like bath water. Damn. That was crazy. I feel like I just washed my hands because I got some on my finger. Glided straight off my fingers. I apply four drops and then we'll give it a little scrub on the surface. And I don't know what I'm talking about, but he'll show us how to do it. So here my brother is applying about four to five drops on the whole pad. And the technique that he's using is a crisscross motion for the spokes. He just uses that technique because he finds that gets the best coverage for him. But anywhere like the small crevices, like the, the lug nut holes, the lip, you can use whatever technique you want. As long as you get even coverage, then it's gonna turn out great. So just make sure you get all the areas, you know, that would be the lip, lug nut holes, the face, basically anywhere the sponge can get into, get it in there. And now going to the back, you can see it's significantly easier because there's no crevices no nooks and crannies. So like I said, any technique that you find works best for you, use that technique and just make sure you get even coverage throughout the whole wheel. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is how the UV light works here. So while applying the ceramic coat, I was kind of just flashing it around 
and I noticed the spots that were super heavy on coating kind of have like a light blue tinge to it. Whereas if it was smooth, then it's just, I don't know, it looks like clear all throughout. But if there's some thicker areas, then it kind of looks like light blue. So it could be a streak or bubbles or just the ceramic coating dripping down. But that was something I noticed. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to use this thing, but that is how I've been using it. So hopefully that is the correct way. But yes, pretty handy. All right, so um, I did a pretty mid job. So I'll show you the UV light. Yeah, you can see a little bit right here. It's um yeah, like that blue dot right there. Uh, where else? Yeah, like especially here around the barrel. So you see it's smooth and then right there is not so smooth. So there's like light blue. But other than that, oh crap, I need to focus. Yeah, other than that, I think I've got it like pretty, pretty good for first time. Ah, oh, why is it not focusing? Yeah, other than that, I think it's pretty good for my first time. Um, just kind of going over all of the crevices. But I think I'm going to try and ceramic coat it a second time just to make sure. And yeah, let's start wiping this off. So I would recommend waiting three to four minutes depending on your temperature to start wiping the coating off. I think I waited a little bit too long, but read the instructions on your bottle because every ceramic coating is different for different temperatures. All right, that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, I apologize if it was all over the place or just kind of boring or whatnot. Uh, I recently moved out and got my own place, so it's been super hectic. I barely had any time to edit. So I just kind of winged this video and thought I would just push something out, give you guys a little content. But yeah, as for ceramic coating your wheels, I think everyone should do it. It's super easy. The supplies are pretty cheap and it keeps your wheels fresh, easy to clean for a really long time. I think my coating lasts like nine, nine years. So yeah, that's going to be nine years of easy cleaning for the white wheels. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, in the next video, I want to show you guys more of the Type R. I recently got it lowered, I put the wheels on, it looks absolutely incredible. Like it looks perfect to me, so I can't wait to show you guys that. But yeah, it's just been a really hectic month and once I have a little more time, I'm gonna try and upload as many videos as I can. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out. What are you doing? You're gonna be seeing more of this guy too.